to give out tonight's TV Icon Award, what? Please welcome HCA board member John Roca. Hi. An icon, a person or thing regarded as a representative symbol or as worthy of great respect. Well, since 1989, when I first saw Giancarlo Esposito as bugging out in Do the Right Thing, I saw an actor worthy of great respect. He created an iconic role within an iconic film for an iconic director. That is an icon. When you can work in this business from the age of eight years old as a black actor on Broadway, TV, and film, and carve out a legacy that has stood the test of time and inspired other actors to pursue their dreams, that is an icon. When you can lend your name and your time to help causes like the Waterkeeper Alliance, Kids for Peace, and World Merit USA that focus on the environment, promoting the arts, and helping children, that is an icon. When you can come into a show like Breaking Bad to create one of the most terrifying and devilishly charming villains in Gus Fring and almost steal the show from its lead, Brian Cranston, that is an icon. When you can find a new level after that and appeal to a whole new generation of fans in projects like Community, Harley Quinn, DuckTales, The Godfather of Harlem, The Jungle Book, Okja, and The Mandalorian as the legendary and badass Moff Gideon, that is an icon. And when you can come back to Gus Fring, make us fall back in love with that quietly horrifying yet dapper mother effer one more time and help elevate Better Call Saul into one of the best shows on TV, that is an icon. Now let's take a look at some of his incredible work. One of the greatest pieces of advice I've ever received is be true to yourself. This was a theme in a movie I did with George C. Scott called Taps, and he gave me a very clear directive, and that directive was, don't do it. And he added, unless you really have to. And I'll never forget that. He was telling me in the don't do it, there are a lot of pitfalls, there's a lot of trial and error, there's ups and downs. And, and then when he said, unless you really have to, he was referring to my heart. He was referring to my passion and, and to my love of it. This is Shelley's guest. Yeah. I was doing a play called The Man and the Sign, Negro Ensemble Company, 1980, and Spike came to see it. Came right backstage, said, I want to work with you. I hereby sentence you to me. Oh, no. After I did do the right thing on my second rise to stardom, and People knew who I was and claimed me as black because it was a Spike Lee movie and it was a fabulous role for me in Bugging Out. Yeah, I'm serious. I fucked you up quick two times. Two times. Who told you to step on my sneakers? Who told you to walk on my side of the block? Who told you to be in my neighborhood? So I've had the opportunity to express myself. I'll take the ride. Left hand lacing on the piano. And that to me is the reason I became an actor because in my self expression, I can have my originality to not only. Um, share my creative ideas, but also it was a way to lift people out of a certain consciousness. You are mine. All those fuckers out there who push you around, rip you off and suck your spirit, they are not real. Yeah, well, I ain't dead. Well, you may as well be. You don't remember your name or who you are. Exceptional man, artist. His body of work is truly extraordinary. He's moved and inspired people all over the world and moved and inspired many, many actors. I waited 20 years to direct a movie. I was asked to do it, uh, but I didn't respond to any of the material. But when I came across this particular script, it was passion and spirit that guided me. If you try to interfere, I will kill your wife. I will kill your son. I will kill your infant daughter. One line Vince wrote, hiding in plain sight. And that line was an inspiration to me. So it was fascinating to me to build the building blocks of Gustavo Fring. Fascinating character. 
really, really um, have loved uh, being him. Get back to work. Gus Fring, I mean, that is the very definition of a fan favorite. You brought him back for Better Call Saul. In recreating Gus Fring for Better Call Saul, I didn't want to do the same thing. You're going to see a very different Gus. Yes, I am different. Remarkable. Mm -hmm. Dreams are thoughts that are worked on and put into the universe and practiced and believed in, and then they can come true. And uh, I certainly have had my dream come true because I don't work a day in my life because I love what I do. If I was afraid of rubbing elbows with criminals, I wouldn't have become a congressman. Your Majesty, what can I do for you? So shut up and play the game. Siempre te levaré en mi corazón. But to the bottomless gaping pit of insecurity you call a soul. I would gladly break any promise and watch you die in my hand. <laughs> I was acting. <laughs> or was I? Ladies and gentlemen, it is my distinct honor and blessing to present the TV Icon Award to one of the best to ever do it, Giancarlo Esposito. It's, it's, it's really wild to see your life go by in, in, right in front of your face. Um, I'm not done yet. Um, I, <laughs> um, thank you, Hollywood Critics Association, for this honoring. Um, it is truly a beautiful thing. I'm honored, I'm grateful, I'm enthused, and I'm excited to be here this evening. Um, the acknowledgement of my creative accomplishments and my contributions is a confirmation that I am in the right place at the right time. Thank you. Um, I am seen. It, it means the world to me. And so many of us want to be seen. And um, I suggest that if we're able to see ourselves uh, we would be in a better position to love and embrace who we truly are, and we wouldn't need to fake the funk. Um, <laughs> it is my passion and commitment, dedication, sacrifice, and love for what I do that has guided me to this moment. And this year marks my 56th year in show business. As a, a professional creative artist in an industry that strives to tell truthful stories in a provocative and playful way, to uplift, to entertain, to educate, to bring together all nations, all creeds of humankind into one jubilant and accepting, understanding the evocative embrace of each other. Passion is what we have and love is all there he is. We are heroes of our own story. We are the champions of each other for the love of others, to be in service to others, responsible first for the love of ourselves. Cultivate that. And then extending and sharing that big love to all through the stories we tell, the stories of victory, defeat, triumph, and joy. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the Hollywood Critics Association for allowing me this incredible honor and to all of you who voted for me. I give thanks to the inspiration I received from the great collaboration I've had with Vince Gilligan from Breaking Bad. Yes, please. Peter Gould, Better Call Saul. John Favreau from The Mandalorian, Eric Kripke from The Boys. I want to thank my team and my brother from another mother, Josh Kesselman, my manager, my producing partner, um, the, my, my, my counselor, the man who talks me off the cliff almost every other day. <laughs> thank you, Bonnie Bernstein, Stephen Brown, Darren Chapman, uh, Trapner, Tony Payroll, and Max Ulanoff. 
Um, at Through Line Entertainment, ICM et al., I'd also like to thank deeply from my heart um, my publicists who um, have been absolutely wonderful in imprint, Jen Sims, Allison Douglas, and, and Bailey. Um, thank you so much. Uh, but mostly, I think that um, all of you in this room are family, and my family is here, and I want to thank my family for their support, for aiding and abetting and inspiring me forward for opening my heart when it's been closed, for always being there to cheer me on. And all of you, each and every one, that's you, you are my inspiration. You, 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 and you, you are all my heart. Our hope for the future, and I love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.